This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. And welcome to a new series of videos that I'm putting together for this Wednesday slot, where basically what we're going to be doing is taking a look at some chord sequences, basically uh, stock chord sequences, off the peg chord sequences, chord progressions that have been used time and time again by various bands and artists, and we're going to essentially look at what makes them tick. And the advantage of, of having this understanding is that, it, well, it'll give you two things. First of all, it'll make it easier to figure out uh, a song that uh, you might be trying to learn if you have an understanding of the chord sequence that's going on in that song. And secondly, it might just give you a little bit of inspiration for writing new stuff yourself. So there you go. And without further ado, let's have a listen to the example we're going to listen to and look at today. Here it is. Now there you go, um, that might have um, conjured up images of a lady who's sure that all that glitters is gold, or maybe you were thinking about being on a dark desert highway with cool wind in your hair, um, you know, and I think this chord sequence, or this type of chord sequence, might just be unique in the respect that it's probably or possibly made more money for the legal profession than it has for the music industry because there have been a load of lawsuits surrounding songs which are you know kind of based on this idea i'm thinking of the uh, the recent one between the estate of randy california from the band spirit who were claiming that led zeppelin's stairway to heaven was kind of a rip-off of um, a spirit song taurus or you know i'm not sure there was a lawsuit involved with this one but there were certainly some claims made that um, Hotel California by the Eagles was uh, a rip-off of the old Jethro Tull song we used to know and people would say oh yes and the, the Eagles were on tour with Jethro Tull when um, you know they when they played that song and that's where they got the idea from which is utter bunkum of course because um, you know the guy who wrote the chord sequence for Hotel California uh, Don Felder wasn't in the Eagles at the time when the, the Eagles toured with Jethro Tull and as I said this is is a stock uh, kind of chord sequence, you know, uh, goes all the way back to a tune like My Funny Valentine by Rogers and Hart from, was that 1937 and probably before that as well. The chord sequence itself is based upon a chromatic descending bass line in a minor key. So if we're going to be in A minor, which we are today, that's going to go from an A note down to a G sharp, down to a G, to an F sharp, to an F, to an E, and then it breaks a sort of chromatic chain there and goes to a D and then back up to an E before coming back round on itself. Here's the bass line by itself, and you'll see what I mean. So, as I said, if we take A minor as our kind of tonal centre for this, uh, we need to figure out what chords will kind of work with that chromatically descending bass line. And, uh, well, theory alert, here's how you do it. Okay, what we have here is basically a little table showing most of the places where you will find an A minor chord in terms of the keys that it will crop up in this uh, top row here for instance is the A Dorian mode which is basically the key of G major but refocused onto the A minor chord that occurs in the key of G major 
this is the A Phrygian mode, which is the key of F major. Uh, basically, just refocused on the A minor chord that occurs in that key. Down here, we have the A Aeolian mode, also known as the key of uh, A natural minor. And that's basically just the key of C major, again, refocused onto its A minor chord. And finally, at the bottom, this is the key of a harmonic minor. Uh, now, I've done videos about uh, the harmonic minor scale and the key and various modes and everything. I'm not going to go into a lot of depth of it here. I'll probably link to a couple of those videos in the description if you're interested. Uh, in each row, you can see that you've got uh, the chord names uh, in the kind of big uh, section of the row like that and then above it you can see those are the notes in the individual chords and what that allows us to do is to uh, choose a note from uh, any one of the chords that gives us that chromatic descending bass line that we're looking for maybe a little bit like this this Or maybe this. So there you go, you can see that the possibilities are pretty much endless. All you need to do is find a chord to come next, which has the note in it that's next in that chromatic descending sequence. And if you are a Patreon supporter of mine, thank you very, very much, first of all. Uh, but if you're a Patreon supporter, then uh, the resources for this uh, little lesson include uh, a printer-friendly version of that table you saw in that clip. You actually get the clip itself to watch over and over again as many times as you want. Uh, there's a nice little chord dictionary that I've put together uh, which um, shows all of the chord shapes that you're going to need to play through uh, any of the examples there. Those three examples that... Um, you saw me playing that clip uh, all tabbed out in both Guitar Pro and PDF uh, formats. And you get an extended uh, bass and drums kind of backing track. So you can try out some of your own uh, ideas over the top of it. And, you know, just maybe have a play around with it. See what works and get a bit of inspiration, uh, you know, to, to kind of write something yourself based upon this idea. And that is pretty much it for today, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the video, found it useful, informative, maybe a little bit inspiring and if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it um what else do i need to mention yes uh don't forget the live stream on friday 5 p.m uk time uh we have a beer and a natter about music and guitars and whatever else crops up it's a great way to kick off the weekend and i would love to see you there but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.